So for breakfast on Tuesday, we're having the left, the rest of the banana bread, trying to work through that, and an egg and coffee, and it is sunny and beautiful outside. So we are actually all home today. Uh, Evie didn't go to school, so we are about to do our normal pre-K thing at home, and then I'll probably just, I have like a workbook that if she's ever home and you know, if we're doing our preschool, then I have something for her to do. But I had a, people, a few people ask me about like the things that I'm doing with Lara. Some people were asking about this workbook. So she is, she just turned five. So technically she's not even in kindergarten yet, but I found this brain quest. It's for first grade. So it's for ages six to seven. I found it at a thrift store. It was brand new and I'm pretty sure it was like $1.99. And I really like it because it does have a bunch of different sections. So for phonics, spelling, reading, language arts, and then math, science, social studies, all that. Some things are above her skill level. She hasn't quite learned just yet, but most of it, honestly, she is pretty good with. I just pick like a little bit from each section and we work on it. So I'm, if I can find that on Amazon, I'll link it down below. And then this one she's also doing, and this is kindergarten math, which honestly, like this is a little bit too easy for her, but it was just really cute to be honest. Um, but like writing her numbers, she knows how to do, she knows simple, like all this is very easy for her. So we kind of do it occasionally, but more often than not, I'm pulling math out of here because it's a little bit more challenging for her. And then we have been reading through the Jesus Storybook Bible. We've read this all the way through multiple times and we're just about at the end yet again. So I'm thinking of getting a new Bible for us to work through. I mean, we really love this one. I love um, the illustrations. I love how it's written. They start with a theme in the beginning and they carry it all the way through, which of course is how the Bible works, but they just make it very like obvious to the children reading it. And honestly, when I read it, like it makes me tear up. It's so well written. So we're almost done with that. And then I also got these for her, these guided science readers, which if you are a long time viewer, you may know that I did these with Evie. It was not the orange set. It was a different set because this is D but they have an activity book. This is very, very simple. Like if you have even a three, four year old, this totally would work for them. And it's just these very simple stories that have different themes. And then there's like a one page little worksheet for them to do that correlates with the book and then you can put a sticker on it. So very, very basic. If you have a child that can draw simple pictures and start to work on their letters and writing. This is a great thing. So I'll link all of these below if you're interested. These are just what we've been using. Now that the weather is getting nicer, we definitely want to spend more time outside and do more like hands-on science of actually like observing bugs and animals and digging in the dirt and hopefully planting some things and harvesting some things. So that's kind of where our attention will shift later. Of course, we always are reading books. Um, Lara is reading, she, like she read through all the Bob books so she can read like simple um, words and things like that. So we're just always, you know, me reading to her and then having her read back to me words that, you know, are on her skill level. So I just honestly keep it very simple. I never bought like a full curriculum to work through. Um, I didn't really, I don't know, I just felt like we could kind of piece together things that we already had. I've, you know, downloaded things off the computer, like printouts and things like that. But there really is just so much that they learn just experiencing the world around them. You know, every time we're out and we see something, I'll say, oh, can you read that? Or, oh, can you add up these things? Or if we're in the kitchen cooking, then she's helping with like measurements and stuff like that. So I just try to, I don't know, make learning like, in all throughout the day thing in, in simple ways. And of course I do that like with Luke too. So, you know, learn, practicing pointing out the letter L because his name starts with L. Things like that or colors or shapes. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do now. Get all the kids <laughs> rounded up. So this is the book I have um, for Evie. She is in second grade. So I just pulled out a work, a math worksheet and like a language arts one. And then we're gonna read this book all together. Um, and yeah, no, just kind of do a little, little school at home. 
Um, that's the one. <clears throat> this one? Uh -huh. Okay. You want me to rip it out? Uh -huh. Write down what you see so God's children can read it and wait with happy excitement. Where is the girl? They is on the slide, it is on the slide, or she is on the slide? She. She. There. There. Good. And spell it right there. You can spell it. Blank no. shirt is orange. Hey. Hey. What would you write there? His shirt or orange? It's shirt is orange. Or her shirt is orange. Her shirt is orange. Her. Good. P P A. Seven plus one is how many? Very good. And then you can count them and check if your answer is right. This spider looks like a crab. Crab. Crab spider. Crab spider. Yeah, it looks kind of green, huh? Yeah. They are great at lifting things. You know that ants are one of the strongest or maybe the strongest insect compared to their size. One ant is very strong, but then when they work together, they can carry even bigger things. An independent man to write the Declaration of Independence. I know, revolutionary. What? New. New, that's very... So, yeah. technically it's saying new war. The new war, yeah. Like never been done before because they didn't want to be part of England anymore. They wanted to be their own country with their own rules. So we are going to head out to the park. It's beautiful. It was a little wet this morning. It must have rained overnight. So I wanted to wait a little bit to see if it would dry off. So kids packed lunches. I'm gonna put them in here and then we're gonna go head out. need to do is like do like my spring and summer stock of my car and just pack it full of the things we need like when we go to the park it'd be nice to have some rackets and some balls or a soccer ball or basketball or something I haven't yet done that so that's on my my to-do list is just get the car ready put in like changes of clothes and all that stuff that you need all right we're back home I didn't pack lunch for myself, so I'm just warming up some of the leftover soup. Luke is down for his nap. I'm gonna try to limit his naps. He's been going to bed super late uh, lately, that so we're trying to curb that. So I'm gonna let him sleep just for a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and edit my video for tomorrow. And yeah, it was a gorgeous day. We stayed out much longer than I thought we were going to. It was just so beautiful, like not a cloud in the sky, perfect. It wasn't that hot, like it was in the low 60s, but just really comfortable and beautiful. And we kind of drove around a little bit after we left and you know, that kind of put Luke to sleep and just seeing everyone's like houses get with their fresh landscaping and all the trees in bloom. It's just, it's so gorgeous. Um, and that's actually something we want to do is you know, kind of spruce up our front landscaping. So I like kind of driving around and like getting inspiration from other people's homes and see what they do and try to incorporate that. We did plant two hydrangea bushes last fall, this past fall, that are starting to, there's like green shoots that are coming up. So that's exciting. Hopefully we will get some flowers out of it and the deer won't eat them. And we also have a bunch of peony um, pots that are starting to sprout so we need to get them in the ground but we if you remember last year we tore out a ton of bushes in the front of our house and they had very deep very long standing like root systems and we got most of it out but there's still like a lot of bigger chunks of roots that are still there that we really do need to kind of like I don't even know what. Dan said there's a special tool that'll basically like grind everything and like just, you know, kind of mulch it back into the soil type of thing. I don't know. I don't know much all that much about landscaping, but we're hoping to get that done sooner than later and not put it off until the fall, which is like what we constantly keep doing 
and we've been here for four years and I just want the front landscaping to look nice. So hopefully we will get that done this spring. Mm. This soup is so good. And even when I was warming it up, it, the smell reminds me of clam chowder, like New England clam chowder. It just brought me back to like summertime and warm weather. I guess the base of this is pretty much, you know, very similar to what that would be. But I'm gonna go take this and start editing. All right, so we just ran out real quick to Walmart. I picked up a rotisserie chicken. It's so beautiful outside and sunny and just, I don't know, I feel like having something a little bit lighter. So we're gonna make like Greek salads. We have feta, so I just got a little bit of extra cucumber and tomato. And, but the main reason that I went out, can I see that bud? <laughs> Is that we, we have one hairbrush that we all use and I've had it for years and I cannot for the life of me find it. I saw it two days ago and I haven't seen it. Like we keep, we've looked everywhere and I can't find it. And the girls have swim tonight and I'm definitely gonna need to be able to brush their hair after swim. So we just picked this one up. We really like the wet brush. It works well on wet or dry hair. So that is what we got. And then while we were there, we just picked up some diapers as well. So it's already kind of later in the day, even though it's super bright and sunny and beautiful. So I'm gonna get started on dinner. But you know what this means, right? As soon as I open this package and put it away, the other hairbrush is gonna turn up. And it's really, it's driven me crazy. I've looked everywhere. I can't even imagine where else it would be. Our house is not that big. And it's just, it's too funny, but anyways. We got a second one. <laughs> Daddy's home. So I just made a quick um, Greek dressing. I just looked up how to do it. It is lemon juice and olive oil. It called for red wine. I only had white wine vinegar, so that'll have to do. Um, oregano, salt, pepper, and Dijon mustard. So just whip that up. You want to go see Daddy? Okay, go ahead. Oh, and also there was a grated whole um, cl garlic clove in there as well. And that was everything. And that was just from this five heart home. That was her recipe. Well, this stinks. The feta I was gonna use, it was completely sealed. We did buy it a few weeks ago, but it was sealed and it didn't expire, but it, I opened it up and it just doesn't taste quite right. It's a little sour. I had Dan taste it too, just to make sure. And he said, yeah. So that's unfortunate. It's kind of the main part of my Greek salad here, but I'm gonna have to use a different cheese, I guess. All right, so we have fresh mozzarella. That's gonna have to be a good enough substitute. 